Deficiency Disease Malnutrition Before entering into malnutrition, first we should know what is meant by nutrition. Nutrition is a full of nutrients in the form of carbohydrates, proteins and amino acids. Our body is in need of all these nutrients for growth and development of the body. If we don't take these nutrients into our body, especially in children, they will face malnutrition. Malnutrition is food that contains low number of nutrients, not even more than one. Reasons for malnutrition. One, lack of awareness and importance of nutrients. Two, intake of low food. 3. Poverty 4. Persons having poor health by having low immunity power Persons having lack of strength to fight against dangerous diseases like diarrhea and roundworm infections 5. Sanitation Malnutrition effects are based on 1. Age 2. Health 3. Duration of time Based on duration of time, malnutrition effects are of two types. A. Short-term effects of malnutrition B. Long-term effects of malnutrition Short-term effects of malnutrition Here, body does not face more complications when compared to long-term effects because by following reasons one they use stored food that is carbohydrates fats and proteins to generate energy two low amount of nutrients are exerted from the body long-term effects of malnutrition it will differ between adults and children in adults one, they will become weak and tired. Two, unable to do heavy works. Three, easily affected by infection caused by bacteria and viruses. Safety measures. Intake of adequate and sufficient nutritional food to meet energy loss from the body. In children, children have to face no severe problems because their body will use reserved food very quickly. In children, malnutrition is classified into three types. They are 1. Children having insufficient amount of energy providing nutrients such as carbohydrates and fats called calorie malnutrition or energy malnutrition. 2. Children having insufficient amount of proteins called protein malnutrition. Example, kwashioko. 3. Children having insufficient amounts of both proteins and energy providing such as nutrients, carbohydrates and fats called protein calorie malnutrition. Example, marasmus. Kwashiorkor. This disease is mostly seen in African countries as they do not have much awareness about nutritional food. Kwashiorkor is an African word. It means displaced children. It is a type of malnutrition disease having low amount of proteins and high amount of carbohydrates. Symptoms of Kwashiorkor disease. 1. Underweight, which means very lean. 2. Large belly due to enlargement of liver. Storage of water at intercellular spaces in the liver. 3. Change in color of hair. 4. Poor muscle development. 5. Frequently suffering from diarrhea. 6. Swelling of muscles. 7. Growth will reduce. 8. 
loss of interest in playing marasmus it is also a type of malnutrition due to insufficient amount of both proteins and calories symptoms face will be look like that of an old man two they are very lean and weak three there is no fat under the skin and become dry four there is no swelling of legs five they are also underweight six repeated childbirth there is no particular time gap between first and second baby measures to stop this malnutrition in children one should maintain time gap between childbirths two should improve awareness on nutrients three healthy food should be given to growing child four avoid giving other sources of milk five stress the importance of mother's milk to her child mother should give her milk to her child as it is the only step which leads to the development of a healthy baby obesity it is not restricted to like adults and children it is irrespective of all ages of persons like children adults and old people nowadays obesity is a health hazard and a dangerous disease sometimes it is hereditary body needs nutrients in specific amounts when 20% of the body weight is filled by fat molecules then that person is said to be an obese person due to overeating excess energy gets converted to fat molecules this excess fat is stored in adipose tissue of liver as number of adipose tissues increase simultaneously body size starts increasing slowly factors of obesity intake of more oily foods two storage of more fat molecules three loss of exercises four lifestyle five intake of junk foods problems due to obesity it leads to various diseases like one heart diseases two tiredness three diabetes four they cannot walk for long periods of time five laziness preventive measures one intake of sufficient nutrient food two do regular exercises three avoid taking of junk foods four go for regular health checkup to control fat five spend more time on walking six avoid going by vehicles for nearby work like getting milk vegetables etc seven should take fiber rich foods